Hi everyone, welcome to another unboxing or unbagging as the case may be. So this is for the month of October. It is the Ipsy Glam Bag. It's got a cute little spiderweb bag here that shows up. We got a little spider for the draw or that zipper pull. So I'm so glad that you're here. I hope that you stick around and join me. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to see you guys and it means so much to me that you guys are able to take a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to my channel, I hope that you would please hit that little red subscribe button over there. I'd love to have you come back and join us for future videos. Oh, I hope everybody gives this video a thumbs up and your comments of course are always welcome. So today we are going to do our Ipsy, our Glam Bag Regular, just a fun bag. It's, uh, I paid $11 for mine because I got my subscription last year. It did go up, I believe it's $13.99 now. Uh, you get five deluxe size samples every now and then. They do throw in a full size item. They said the value is always around $50. So just a fun bag. You always get a little bag here little cosmetic bag this one is like a black vinyl bag it's got like a spider web embossed on it and the zipper pull is this cute little spider and he's got a little bit of sparkles right there a little purple there and on the back we have the ipsy logo so yeah and um let's see if i lost my card here the theme this month for october is halloween instead of halloween back is just uh, advertising for the Glam Bag X that probably comes up next month and I know a lot of these uh, cards now are getting to be more generic where they're not telling what's in the bags mine has the products in here again so it tells you a little bit about the product whether it's a deluxe size sample or if it's a full size item I got a full size item and a travel size item and that travel size item has a value of $20 so not too bad right Alrighty, so for Ipsy, you get a ton of choices. For the Ipsy Glam Bag Regular, you get a ton of choices. You know that it's going to be deluxe size samples, but there's so many to choose from. And then, of course, you get the add-ons after. So the product that I choose or chose was from Fenty Beauty. And it's this serum. It's kind of like a cross between a serum and a toner it's a toner but it's thick it's uh, oily it's heavy like a serum it really feels good i got some in my fenty box that i got last year from ipsy and i do love it it's probably it was like a full-size bottle and it's probably a little less than half in there for the month of october i've been just using the style vana um, they sent me some products to try for review um, if i think of it i'll link that video up there and um yeah so i've just been using that toner exclusively i love that too but i know that i love this toner as well so the next product that we got in here that they chose for me was from it cosmetics and it's confidence in your sleep in your beauty sleep so it's like focus please it's like a night cream that you can use it's a little glass bottle here pretty shade of like a blue purple kind of like an old or blue maybe it's a light, light lavender color, and it smells like a cross between maybe lavender, focus please, and tea tree. So it's just, but it's a light scent. I think if you are super sensitive to fragrances, I don't think this should bother you. If you do like those fragrances, I think that's just really nice to fall asleep having that scent next to you. All right, the next one I thought was kind of weird. You know how we get like these name brands, sometimes higher end products to try in our bags. This one is from Sephora, and I just thought that was odd. Alrighty, I might be alone in that, but this is a primer, Smooth and Blur 
and I will have to read it later. I'm assuming it's an all over face primer. Um, if it's an eye primer, it, you'll get more uses. This is the tube that it came in. And you know it's a deluxe size sample, but it's right there. So if it is a face primer, um, that's probably just going to be a single use. If it's an eye primer, that would probably uh, maybe be three or four uses. And then the la oh, next to the last item in here is from ELF, ELF. And it's this mascara called Big Mood. And it shows you what the brush looks like. It says it's an hourglass brush. And this is a full-size product, so this has a value of $7. So excited to try that. Next, we got this eyeshadow palette. They say this is a travel size worth $20. It's Chella and maybe Vila Beauty. Hello, beautiful. So there are two shimmers in here and two mattes. And um, so it's kind of like a golden color and then like a shimmery copper and then maybe like a light chocolate brown and then like a rusty brown. So I think that'll make some really nice fall looks. So that, wow, that was fast. That was everything in my Ipsy bag. So we got this uh, little palette right here. We got the Elf Mascara, the Sephora Primer, the IT Confidence in Your Beauty Sleep, and this Fenty, kind of like a toner serum. So I think it was a pretty decent bag this month. I am happy with it. I think I'm going to use everything. I'm just, this just seemed odd to me. But yeah, sometimes things do that to me. But I did get some add-ons. So I got a couple of masks, because you know, I love masks. I mean, I don't want to get two of them and call it a full-size item in like my boxy charm. But when I do it as an add-on and I get two for three dollars, I'm happy. So yeah, so I'm, they could have been either two for three or two for five. I know it wouldn't have been more than that. So they each came in a pack of two. So I got this one from Two Day Mask. One's tea tree for pore care and the other one is bamboo water for hydrating. We got two more from Two Mask. So again, one's the tea tree for pore care and then the aloe for soothing. We got two batches from the creme shop. This one had the same one, vitamin C and hyaluronic acid. And then these last two, I love any kind of skincare with watermelon. I just love that scent. Watermelon margaritas. I, I probably should try some watermelon wine. Watermelon smoothies, love them. So anyway, so one's a watermelon and kombucha, and the other one's a turmeric and maybe a matcha tea. So just some really nice mass to try. And I know sometimes I get so excited, I forget to open my 31 days of Halloween. I wasn't sure I was gonna work with these gloves on, so I decided to open it. So for my $31 donation to the Children's Network Miracle Hospital, I got one of these limited edition 31 days of Halloween and so I did open it already because like I said I didn't know how it would work getting in there with my gloves and I got a Nestle Crunch size bar love my Nestle Crunch there nice and smooth and rich chocolate love the little Rice Krispies in there so so fun so let's do the Halloween outfit of the day shall we so I have had this dress I've been trying to figure out how long I've had it could be between 15 and 20 years. I know I got it after I moved here and I got it for one of our work Christmas parties. So it's um, a little bit below the knee dress. It's a black dress, it's got, uh, comes with a full size slip with a little bit of lace trim up here. I forgot what this draped uh, neckline is called. The necklace right here I got from Ch Charming Charlie's. Could be five, could be six years ago. I'm pretty sure that these earrings were from Stitch Fix. The um, headband right here with a little feather, these little gloves, and my little um, boa here, my feather boa. Um, that was from Amazon. I got this last year or two years ago. It was like when COVID first happened and nobody believed in it, but you know, they gave people the option at work to work from home. 
or whatever view were non-essential. Nobody wanted to come into the office, so I said, I'll go into the office. So I worked by myself for like almost a year. Then they brought everybody back, and within the first week of people coming back, I was exposed to COVID. So when I was, I was waiting for the 14 days to be over for the quarantine, and of course it was back then, you didn't have the simple fast result test, so you had to wait for that to come back. So I had ordered these from Amazon. And so when my test finally came back negative, I took a picture of me with this party thing on and it had like a cigarette, one of those long cigarette holders, and I had this on like COVID free. Yeah. So anyway, I bring this out at Halloween. The dress, I have no idea why, but I bring it out at Halloween. Who knows why? I wear it for some of my wine diary videos. It's just a lot of fun. And it's a little bit below the knee. And it's black with these purple flowers on it. It's ruched on one side. It's kind of, kind of like the seam that goes here with a little bit of ruching. And I don't know if that's going to show up. But on some of these flowers, we get all the speeding and stuff in here. That gives it a little bit of sparkle. So it just makes it really fun. And, oh, I think that's about it. I am thirsty. I'm waiting for my pizza to come. So I'm going to have a little bit of my... Oh, let me show you the bottle. I just opened this last week for one of my wine diaries. So my plan B for Halloween was to find some Halloween themed wines, have a little fun, dress up and just go with it, have a little bit of fun. So this one is from Chronic Cellars. It's a Cabernet Sauvignon. So you can see that little skeleton right there with this raven and just fun, right? So this one is actually a Cabernet Sauvignon. I think it was like 80 something percent uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. It's got some Petite Syrah in here and Syrah in here. And it's just really, really a nice smooth wine. I think it's going to go nice with my pizza. So cheers everyone. I'm going to have a quick sip. Mmm. Really, really good. But anyway, you know how sometimes you go on, well, every time you go on YouTube and you see all these little things on the side, these little recommendations. So I just kept seeing this one for Daryl Brooks. And it was like, oh my gosh, that name sounds familiar. How do I not know that name? Where do I know that name from? So finally, I decided to just open one, get it over with. This idiot is, okay, I shouldn't say that he's a person, right? Because I'm supposed to be kind, be nice. So he is the one that drove last November, November 2021. He drove his SUV through a small town of Waukesha, Wisconsin, through their Christmas parade. He killed six people. One of them was a child. It was One was a dancing Grammy. And just, oh, just the devastation. And just you would think that would be enough but no there's like 30 to 60 injured people that he ran over with spinal injuries internal organ bleeding and injuries to their insides broken legs broken arms and so anyway he had a uh, a public defender which he didn't want he's he's smart he can defend himself it's a travesty is what it is when you see him cross-examining the people whose children he killed the people whose children were injured and he's well did, didn't you hear me honk didn't did you get a good look at me did you get my life did you get the license plate number no i was caring for my dead child in the middle of the road you know and how they keep their composure is like it's beyond me but anyway it's it's interesting so after seeing a couple of those at night during the day while I'm working I've got that on in the background just listening to the actual trial oh my god I cannot believe what the judge is letting him getting away with and and she has to keep removing the jurors from the courtroom and disregard this and disregard that and when she can't take it anymore I mean he pounds on the table he yells he screams um, and when she's had enough, he has to go into an empty courtroom so they can do it that way. She can mute him. Um, but otherwise, he's there and just staring people down and classic narcissist with just berating people and staring them and kind of like bullying them at the same time, maybe. But um, and there's all kinds of speculation on why the judge is letting him do this. 
most people think she's doing that so that he can't say it was a mistrial because we don't well I'm not in Wisconsin but no one wants to go through another trial with him um, I just can't believe it so anyway if you were into like the true crime and listening to some of the courtroom drama and things like that and if you can stomach this guy knowing what he did and how he's the demeanor um, I will have him linked below again it's Daryl Brooks was the Waukesha Waukesha Wisconsin there in November 2021 Christmas parade it it's a travesty I my heart just goes out for the whole town basically I mean small towns everyone knows each other or then now they know someone that's been injured or killed and uh, it's it's heartbreaking but anyway that said I hope you guys get to go out and enjoy this beautiful fall weather it's beautiful where I am I mean it's been 17 this week now it's 70 degrees when my pizza comes I'm going to sit out here with my wine I got my little Duraflame log in there so I can have a little campfire tonight. I'll probably go put my pajamas on in a few minutes, my flannels, and just kind of sit here and my blanket and just kind of unwind for a little bit. So I hope you guys go out have a fabulous weekend. I hope you give this video a thumbs up. Your comments, of course, are always welcome. I appreciate you guys so much. And take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have some fun. We'll see you in the next video. Love you guys so much. Bye-bye.